Again, this warning. The material you're about to see is graphic, and it may be too frightening for some children. With release this week of Aliens, a film some are calling the scariest movie of the year, the subject of today's installment of our series, Masters of Terror, looks at its predecessor, Alien. The film won an Oscar for special effects. Because of the John Hurt stomach scene, won a place in movie history as one of the most gruesome, terrifying Hollywood movies of all time. Join Vincent Price now as we make a return trip with Sigourney Weaver and her shipmates on the space tug Nostromo. On clear, starry nights, don't we all wonder what's out there? In our excitement, we can hardly wait to make contact with those other worlds. Oh, I'm sure you'd like to believe they'll be happy to see us. But are you sure? Don't you have just a little question what they really might be like? For as we learned in director Ridley Scott's Alien, we don't know what we'll find, do we? Seven sleepy earthbound space voyagers awakened mid course. Suddenly, a message. SOS. I don't know. Human. Unknown. This is not my contract to do this kind of duty. And what about the money? If you want to give me some money to do, I'd be happy to. Ah, it's not a question of money, however. The investment is far greater. This discovery on a distant planet could cost you your life. We have a director named Ridley Scott, and this is, I think it's a genius, who has a way of, of psyching actors' heads into where they want to go before you arrive there. And we were there in front of that thing, and we, I had no pre uh, warning that that was going to happen. <laughs> The expressions on my face are real. Uh, I don't know about the rest of the other actors, but uh, I was stunned. And then there were six. And before long, there was just one. To me, is still frightening is that you you feel ready for the scare, then the music keeps teasing you, and then it doesn't happen, and then it doesn't happen, and then it doesn't happen, and then just when you've sort of relaxed, exhausted into your seat, it happens. What an interesting foe, this alien, always popping up. It was not a normal creature. It was a creature that could somehow read your thoughts and had a sense of humor, which was bizarre. It was always in a different shape, and it had a kind of personal malevolence about it that I found very interesting and very human. He sort of played, he toyed with you before he, he you know, he, he could, he waited until you were too frightened to be able to do anything, and then he reached in and got you. <laughs> Yes, space, the final frontier. But don't be surprised if there's more out there than maybe even we can handle. <laughs> Until we meet again, I'm Vincent Price.